after we selected, you know, um, Druid for, you know, out of this beauty context, like uh, what we said is that, uh, you know, let's just get in touch with the imply, right? So who are the makers of, um, oh, I, I should say one other point, very important before saying that, why, why is that? There's one, uh, pr perhaps the key point that I was about to postpone for later, but it's good to touch upon right now, which is uh, the pivot, right? So uh, we were, uh, you know, evaluating, you know, uh, open source Druid and then also the free, you know, the evaluation imply platform that you can get, uh, you know, for one month for free. And then uh, essentially, uh, so we started evaluating Druid and, you know, still today, I, I think, you know, uh, other software may have evolved and so maybe some matured or other may have fixed their instabilities and things like that. But there is one key thing that I think it holds still today, which is that, uh, which is essentially the beautifulness and ease to use of uh, Pivot, right, as a UI. Uh, so I think that uh, you guys at Imply, you nailed something super important, which is uh, the following. So many times, you know, we are in 2020, right? Uh, we, like, who in 2020 as a user of a database is thrilled to learn all the nice complexities of a query language of a database, right? I would say pretty much nobody. And so in that, it, it's precisely, you know, I myself, I am, yeah, a software engineer. I am a network engineer. I am many things, but I am not really, I am a user of a database. I'm not a database expert, right? And so, and my, like me, there will be many other people. So what Pivot really allows you to do is in a very visual way, without typing one single query, um, it, you know, just works. It, you know, it just returns you data. You just uh, really drag and drop dimensions over filtering or over a, breakdown, a breakdown, you know, uh, field. And then you can already visualize your data you didn't really write not a single query, not a single line of code or anything. And so that is super awesome. And I think there is no other product that is, you know, um, that can rival that. Really. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I, I completely agree with you. I mean, coming from the network world and, and selling a lot of tools, but also working directly with, with companies like Level 3 and Quest and when they, when they were still around and, you know, uh, all the big guys, it was always difficult to, to visualize the data, but then also dig into the problem, right? So you see a spike, yeah. what, what, what is that spike? And I know you guys looked at, you know, Grafana, maybe Kibana yeah. or, or Superset. And what I yeah. always find using those, those products is I'm left with something static, right? It's, it's yeah. not something I can quickly jump into, drag two, three dimensions or select a, a spike and ex, uh, you know, select explain. And now I have an idea of what is in that spike within one or two clicks, right? Where right. these other products are just, I, I feel like they're meant to be more static dashboards or I, I mean, they, they do update the auto update, but the drilling down piece is, is really to totally. know, a big component. Yeah. yeah. I, t I totally, cool. I totally agree with you. And, and uh, yet again, like, you know, if you just think like, imagine that you have uh, in your database, you have traffic data, you install the pivot and installing pivot is really, you know, you get this executable and then uh, you go through the UI and you just in, somewhere you just say, okay, point it to this broker node of the uh, Druid uh, cluster and just already pivot starts to work, right? So you have only to beautify, like uh, if you have a dimension in the database, maybe you want to expand to a more human readable string, right? Instead of just being a column in, in the database, right? And then once you do that, like you, you know, you have the data in your database and you have this pivot that is pointed, you know, uh, to your cluster, like five minutes is already working. And then, so what you do, imagine that you have the time dimension of your database, right? So you just drag the time dimension over filter and you filter by the latest day. 
and then you drag that same dimension on breakdown and then you say i want to see breakdown in five minutes and like in 10 minutes time tops essentially what you get is that your nice traffic data overall traffic data for all your network with the you know the change of day and night patterns of traffic and things like that and that is absolutely cool and super use simply super easy to use i must say yeah yeah it's it's a great uh, great overview